you how to make this little bracelet that I'm calling Happy Pearls. And it has 12 millimeter pearls and it's just embellished around it with little flower beads and crystals and 11 O's and 8 O's. Um, and it's got a button closure. And th this project is basically a bunch of stuff I had left over or things I found on sale or just little things here and there that I decided to put together. These little pearls I bought at Hobby Lobby, I think, um, a while back while I was in Denver and never did anything with them. So this isn't an expensive project. This is just basically things that you find here and there. This is a button I bought at Walmart. And, of course, the little check beads and the crystals, they're, you know, they're beads. <laughs> they're not just little cheapies. But um, this is a bracelet you could put together. You could basically, you could use little drop beads. You could use lots of different ways to do this. And I'll show you what it looks like on. This is what it looks like on. It's really a cute little thing, I think, anyway. Just kind of put the flower to the side there. And you can see it's kind of cute. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to use today. I'm going to use more beads that I just, I'm, I'm going to use some gold flower beads that I bought for a Christmas um, project that I had some left over from. So I'm going to use those. And I don't want it to look Christmassy, so I'm going to mix it with turquoise and bronze. So you will need 13 12 millimeter round pearls. And they can be any color, of course. You can mix colors. You don't. Have, with this one, I used two colors. And you can use all one color, or a couple colors, three colors. It doesn't matter. Then I'm going to need a button bead for my closure. Or not a button bead, a button, a shank button for my closure. And I found a little bronze one that I picked out of my mother's bead collection um, when I was in Denver not too long ago. So I'm going to use that. Then um, you will need some flower beads and you're going to need, these are the little bell type flower beads with the hole down the middle. And you're going to need 44 of them. And then you will need, um, and they're seven millimeter bell beads, seven, eight millimeter. I've seen them labeled as both before. Then you're going to need an 11 O seed bead and I'm using a check turquoise because it, it's the closest color I could find to my 6O that I wanted to use. And this 6O is a to Toho, and it's a frosted turquoise. So you're going to need an 11O, a 6O, and an 8O. And I have an 8O check um, Charlotte, actually, that just has one little facet on it. So basically, you can just use any of the beads you have left. They don't have to be the same brand. They don't have to be the same type, just whatever you want. Then I have these little... Um, gold um, bicone crystals. I think they're just a Chinese crystal actually. They were another thing that I was using for Christmas bulbs. So um, for those you will only need 11 of them. And of course that's going to um, all depend upon your length too. If you make your length smaller than I'm making then you'll need maybe 12 of these and, and 10 of these. And you will need to um, have a beading needle and I'm going to use 10 pound fire line just because these are bigger beads and I want to kind of hold them together better. So you'll need to thread onto your needle about two wingspans of fire line. And I'm going to apologize for my hands in advance. I've been working out in the yard today. They're a mess. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by picking up a 12 millimeter pearl, two 8 o seed beads, a 6 o seed bead, and two 8 o seed beads, and a 12 millimeter pearl, and bring them down to the end of your thread and leave a pretty good length of tail because you'll use it for your clasp, so leave about 12 inches. And that's what you should have on your thread so far. Then you will pick up two more 8 seed beads, a 6 seed bead, and two more 8 O's. And we are going to bring these down to our work, and we're just going to go back through all of the beads we just added, starting with the first one. So we're going to go through this 12 millimeter pearl, 
and up through the next 12 millimeter purl and just pull that through so that it makes a circle and then we're going to go back through our next set of seed beads. So we're just sewing them into a circle. Let me get you closer here. I'm just coming back through the, my very last bead. Okay, so now that we have the, this little joint here, I'm going to sew around it one more time just to really secure it because we didn't tie a knot. So I'm going to sew around the entire unit one more time. So I'm going to go through all of my seed beads, my pearl, seed beads on the other side, back up through my first pearl. I've got everything secure. My tail is here, so I want to work over to this bead so that I um, have my tail at the very end of my work so I can put my clasp on. So I'm going to go up through all my seed beads on this side and pull tight. Pull everything together real good, real tight. Come up through your pearl. Now that we've got this pretty secure, we're going to make our next connection here. So we are going to need to pick up two 8 0 seed beads, a 6 0 seed bead, and two 8 0 seed beads, and then we will pick up a 12 millimeter pearl. Just like this. We're going to drop these down to our work. And then we're going to pick up two more 8 0 seed beads, a 6 0 seed bead, and two more 8 0 seed beads. And we're going to come back through, just like this. We're going to come back through the pearl we're connecting to. <clears throat> the opposite side that our thread is coming out of. And now we're going to sew back up around this entire unit just to secure it. So sew up through all of your seed beads. Pull tight. Sew through your pearl. Sew through your seed beads again. Sew through your pearl. And then we want to get back up to this pearl so that now we've secured this unit completely. So we're just going to sew back up to the top pearl. And again, we are going to pick up, we're going to put our next one on, so we're going to pick up two 8 0 seed beads, a 6 millimeter, or a 6 millimeter, a 6 0 seed bead, and two 8 0 seed beads. And then we're going to pick up a 12 millimeter pearl. This is what we have. We're going to drop them down. Then we're going to pick up two more 8 0 seed beads, a 6 0 seed bead, and two more 8 0 seed beads. And this is what we have. And we're going to go through the bead that our thread is coming out of on the opposite side. And that's what you should have. Now we need to sew around the entire unit to secure it. So just pick it up, go through all of the seed beads and the pearl that you just added and all the seed beads on the other side and then through the pearl that you're connecting to and now your unit is secure 
tail in there. So now that your unit is secure, we need to work back up to this pearl. So we're going to go through the seed beads. And then through the pearl we just added. As you're doing this, pull very tightly. Make sure that your tension is really good on this. And continue to do this step until you've used all of your pearls. Now, remember, you, if you're measuring on a board instead of on your wrist and you want to make a six or seven inch bracelet, these are really big pearls. So they're going to take up room on the wrist. So you want to, you're going to want to make it at least a half an inch bigger than you would normally make it. So if you're going to make a seven, go for a seven and a half inch. Um, actually, you have to leave room for your clasping too. So if you're going to make a seven, you'll want to make six and a half inches. And if you want to make an eight, you'll have to make seven and a half inches, that type of thing. Okay? Or you can just try it on your wrist and, and get it to the point to where you have about an inch left over for clasping. And we'll be back. Okay, so I have done all my units. I used 13 beads. And um, I'm all the way to the end here. I'm coming out of the pearl. I sewed it on and secured it, and now I'm coming out of one side of it. And since we're going to start our embellishments and we're going to move across the bracelet this way and we're not going to come back, we're going to go ahead and put our button on this side just to have it done so that we don't have to worry about it in the end. And we can do our um, loop clasp over on this side with our tail when we're done. So let's pick up to put on our button. I have a shank button here and it has a pretty big hole. So on this one I just picked up four 80 seed beads then went through the button and then four more. On this one I'm going to change it a little bit because the hole is so much bigger. My 80 seed beads are just going to fall through the shank. So I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to pick up four 80 seed beads and a 60 seed bead like this. And then I'm going to go through my button. And then I'm going to pick up a 60 seed bead and four 80s. Like this. And then I'm going to go through the other side of the pearl, the opposite side that I'm exiting from and pull. There's a little bit of paint on the hole here. There we go. And see how that pulls it right up close like this? So now I am going to just sew back through all of these beads that I added and then sew back through the pearl and then sew back through the beads and sew back through the pearl. And I'm going to do that about three times and then we'll be back. Okay, so I have secured my clasp on. This is what it looks like underneath and it'll just lay over the top like that. And now that I've sewn through, I've sewn through my bead that I'm connecting to and um, I'm coming out of the side here and now I'm going to start my embellishments. So I'm going to go into the 280 seed beads closest to where my thread is exiting from the purl and then I'm going to go through the 60 and I'm going to exit the 60 seed bead. And then I'm going to pick up three 11 OZ beads, a bicone crystal, and three 11 OZ beads. And then I'm going to, I'm coming out of this side of my 60 over here, I'm going to go into this side of my 60 on the opposite side. Go into the opposite side that I'm exiting and go into the opposite bead from where I am at. and pull. Arrange it nice and neat. And that's what that should look like. Now, we are coming out of this side of the 60. We're going to pick up three more 11 seed beads. And we're going to go into the four millimeter crystal
and pull. Pull everything tight. And now we're exiting the crystal. We're going to pick up three more 11 0 seed beads and we're going to go into the 6 0 that we started going through in the first place. And then we're going to pull our thread tight. Just like that. Okay, now we are coming out of the 6 0 seed bead here after our embellishment. We're going to go through the two 8 0 seed beads right next to the 6 0 where we're exiting. If I can get coordinated, we will do that. There we go. And then we're going to go up through the pearl. Get you a little closer here. Now I'm exiting this pearl. This is where we're going to start using our flowers. So we're going to pick up a flower and an 11 0 seed bead. Just like that. We're going to drop them down. And then we're going to go around the 11 0 and then through the hole of the flower and then back through the pearl, just like this. And pull. Bring it up on top of your beads so that it's facing its little face up. And then pick up another flower. You're on the opposite side of your bead now, of your big pearl. Pick up another flower and pick up another 11-0. Like this. Drop them down. Go around the 11-0 seed bead and into the flower and into the pearl again. and pull. And now we want to put one more flower on this side. So we're going to pick up another 11 0 seed bead or flower first and then an 11 0 seed bead just like this. We're going to drop them down and position it where you want it. Go around the 11 0 into the flower through the flower hole into the pearl hole and exit the opposite side. Just like that. And then just position them so that they're lying right next to each other, kind of face up like this. Now we're going to put another flower on this side. So we're going to pick up another flower bead An 11 0. Drop them down. Go around the 11 0 again, into the flower, into the pearl, and through the opposite side of the pearl. And pull. And that's what that should look like. Now we are coming out of this pearl here. So we're going to sew into the two 8 0 seed beads and exit the 6 0 seed bead right next to where your thread is exiting the pearl. So into your next seed bead connection. Now I'm coming out of this little 6 0 seed bead here in between my two pearls. So I'm going to pick up three 11 0 seed beads, a bicone crystal, and three 11 0 seed beads. I am going to drop them down. I'm going to cross over into the 6 0, it's under my little flower here, on this side of my bracelet. I am exiting 
this side here of this 6-0, I'm going to enter the opposite side in the opposite beat. Just like this. And pull. Like this. So now I am coming out of this side of my six millimeter crystal. I'm going to pick up three more 11 0 seed beads and I'm going to go up through my bicone and pull. And then I'm going to, I'm coming out of the bicone, I'm going to pick up three more 11 0 seed beads and I'm going to go into my 6-0 on the opposite side and pull and that's what that should look like and now that we're coming out of the 6-0 again we will go into the two 8 seed beads right next to where we're exiting and go through. Pull tight, make sure your embellishment is nice and neat. Let me turn this back around. And now that we're coming out of the 8 seed beads here, after we've done our embellishment between the beads, we will now go into the pearl. And again, we are going to pick up our flowers. So we're going to pick up a flower and an 11 0. And we're going to drop them down. My washing machine is making a lot of noise, I'm sorry. But I had to get something done today, too, besides beading. Okay, then go around the 11 0 seed bead, back through the flower, back through the pearl. And again, pick up a flower and an 11 0, drop them down, go around the 11 0 into the hole of the flower, into the pearl, and pull. Pull them up on top here. Again, Pick up a flower, an 11 -0 seed bead, and drop them down. Go around the 11 -0, into the hole in the flower, into the pearl, and pull. Bring them up on top. Pick up an 11 -0, or a, a flower first, and then an 11 -O. drop them down, go around the 11 -0 seed bead, into the flower, into the pearl, and pull them through. Bring your flower up on top. Now that we have that embellishment, we need to move to our embellishment between the beads, so we're going to go into the two little 8 seed beads right next to where we're coming out of the pearl. The 8 and the 6 0 Here. And pull. And we'll do this embellishment one more time and then I'll let you go to the end of the necklace and we'll um, take a break and come back when we're all done with this part. So. Now that we're coming out of the 6-0, we're going to pick up three 11 -0 seed beads, a bicone crystal, and three 11 -0 seed beads. Drop them down. Go into the opposite side of the 6-0 on the opposite side of the bracelet. Here. And pull. Pick up three more 
11 of seed beads, come through the bicone crystal. Pick up three 11 of seed beads and then come through the 6 of seed bead on the side. Just like that. Now that you have that tight, travel up through the two 8 o's right next to the 6 o that you're coming out of. And then travel up through your pearl that you're right next to. And again, begin your flower embellishments. Do that all the way to the end here. Very quickly, and then we'll I wanted back. to show you, I made a little tiny sample piece um, so that you could see what it looks like if you use something other than the flowers. Now, when I came through my beads on this one, I came up through put on a pearl and an 11 o and this is a four millimeter pearl and I went around the 11 o and back into the pearl just like we do with the flowers and then on the opposite side did the same thing and did that twice with pearls this one here I used bicones just four millimeter bicones did the same thing with a little 11 o on top you might want to change that to a 15 o a complementing color the 11 o's are a little big they're a little kind of crazy sticking up like that. If you don't like that, then a 15 0 would work really good to do your fringing stitch with. And then I also um, wanted to show you, then I did my embellishment in between, just like we do with the flowers, but I also thought maybe I would try some Mayuki um, drop beads or anything that's top drilled. Um, these are pretty little, so I'm going to use like three of them. And go down into my pearl and pull bring them up on top see that looks really cute too if you can see that and then I would do that again on this side pick up three of the little drop beads and I'll just do it once instead of going um, twice like we did with our pearls and our flowers pull them up and that's really cute too actually I kinda like that best so you can do all kinds of things you don't have to have the flower beads this project is to basically use up stuff you have you don't necessarily even have to use a 12 millimeter round pearl you could use an 8 or a 10 or even a 6 you're just going to have to use smaller beads um, for your embellishments in between if you use smaller beads than I have used with my pearls. But you can do this stitch with all kinds of different um, little beads. Just kind of use what you've got up. That's the whole thing with this project. I was just trying to use up stuff that I don't use very often. And now I'm going to go back to finishing my bracelet and we'll come back to the end and do the clasp. Okay, so I have finished all of my embellishment on the top. Did my last two little um, flowers over my big bead and then my little embellishment. Now I have one big bead at the end here. Now I have decided to go ahead and put my needle on my tail instead of leaving it on my working thread. Now I was going to weave my working thread through and tie it off and use my tail to put on my end clasp but I have a longer working thread left than I do a tail so I have decided that I'm going to sew in my tail so I'm just going to work through my beads a little bit with my tail and tie it off and then once I do that I will put my working thread or my needle back on my working thread and we will come back and we'll make the um, loop for the clasp. Okay, so I have sewed in my tail thread and tied it off. And now I put my needle back on my working thread. And I'm coming out of these two little 
8 OC beads at the very end here. And now I'm going to travel up through my last big pearl. And now I am going to pick up four 8 OC beads. Actually, five. I'm going to pick up five 8 OC beads and a bicone crystal, and then five more 8 OC beads. Like this. And now I'm going to come through my big pearl on the opposite side that I'm exiting and pull. And now that I pulled these up tight against the pearl, I'm going to sew back through them one more time just to make sure they're nice and secure. Then I'm going to go back through the pearl. And now I'm going to sew up half of these, half of the seed beads I added and just exit my crystal. So I'm just going to go up the five eight O's and through the bicone crystal. <clears throat> And now I'm going to pick up a loop of beads and we get to make sure that the beads are big enough to go or our loop is big enough to go around our button. So we'll just pick up a series of them. I'm not sure how many it will be. On my last one I used 11 O seed beads but I'm going to go ahead and use 8 O seed beads for this one. So I'm going to pick up just a series of seed beads here. Okay, I picked up a series of um, seed beads long enough to go around my button. The way you test that is you can just slide through your crystal on the other side. Slide just through the crystal. And pull it. And then you can bring your button around and test and see if it'll go through. And that will go through. So, now that I have enough beads and I'm not going to tell you exactly how many I picked up because that's going to be dependent upon the size of your button. I have no clue what size button you're going to use so I can't tell you how many seed beads. You're just going to have to test it. Once you have enough, slide through your crystal as we've done here already and then just start sewing back up through your seed beads and sew up through them all the way around. Go through the crystal and then sew up again around them. Make sure they're nice and secure. Then sew into your work, into your main body of work, and tie off. Sew as much as you can into your body of work and tie off several times because a lot of times when you have these little loop clasps like this, you, a lot of people tug pretty hard on them to get them over the button and they can break or come loose or pull loose if you don't have them knotted in really, really well. So sew around that three times and knot off and we'll be back. All right, so I have finished. I completely sewed through and secured my little loop, sewed down through my pearl and then down into my main units, tied off several times and then cut off my working thread. And this is what it looks like. It's really quite pretty and I'll put it on you can see how pretty it is. It's kind of a cute little thing for leftover stuff, I think. And like I said, you can use all different stuff. And here's the pink one that I did earlier. And with this one, I just used little dot flowers and little bell flowers that were smaller than these eight millimeter ones. I don't remember what size they are, but I just used stuff that I had left over from other projects and put together a couple little bracelets. And they turned out rather adorable. Let me get this other one on so I can show you it too. And there we have it. Hope you enjoyed this project. Find a bunch of little beads to throw together and have, have fun. Bye-bye.